morning YouTube September 30th about 7 o'clock in the morning Saturday morning headed out to a no cool call hopefully I can take you guys along see what we can find stay tuned alrighty we got us a Goodman Contactors humming. I pulled the disconnect. But we're gonna put the disconnect back in and see if we got power. There's no fuses in the disconnect. <laughs> That'll do it. All right, guys. I'm in my personal truck, and I have set up my personal truck for service work, basic service work. But one thing I don't have is high voltage fuses. I have low voltage fuses, but there's a hardware store about a mile away. So we're gonna go get some fuses. I'm gonna get a few of them. And uh, the reason I set my personal truck up for service work is because you just never know. Like right now, my, my uh, F-250, I bent the ladder rack on it, I hit I was at my uncle's house dumping some scrap and my ladder rack got propped up against a tree branch and it bent the ladder rack so it's out of welding shop getting fixed because it was bent pretty bad and uh so I'm running service out of my personal truck but I'll get some high voltage fuses this morning and we'll get that unit fixed but that's why it's not running looks like that disconnect was just put on they did have some electrical work done yesterday so uh and they forgot to put fuses in the disconnect. All right, guys, I got some 30 amp fuses. That's all they had. This Max fuse. Where are you? Max fuse breaker is 30, so that's perfect. Well, I tell you what, man, they're proud of these fuses. These things are high dollar at the hardware store. But she ought to run now. Yeah, it's a brand new disconnect. Get no power. Maybe the breaker's off. Yep. No power. All right, let's go find the breaker. But that was definitely a problem. I'll make sure they got everything hooked up in here. No. Look at this. Nothing's hooked up. Oh, they bypassed the disconnect instead of using it. Well, that's real nice. So this is my line voltage. Now why would you put a disconnect box and bypass it?
this is going to be my load. The grounds are good, they can stay wire nutted. This is this just makes no sense to me. You're gonna put a disconnect box and use it as a junction box. Where's the breaker box at, buddy? It's on the side of the house. Outside? Okay. Still have no power. All right, that must have not been the right breaker. It's the only breaker off. It's not snapped in there, that's why. is the right one. Well, got 115 now. Gotta get that breaker snapped in there, right? Yeah, and they wire nutted it. Boy, they did some shot electrical work here.
Let's see if that'll get us 220. One ten. I'm getting two forty four coming out. I see why. They used the white wire instead of the red one. So I'll make a switch right here. And we should be good to go. Nice and tight. That'll get us our 240 volts. I used red in here instead of white. Okay, we're still only getting 110. the black and the red hooked up. they got another splice somewhere I guess I better hook that white back up and use white in the disconnect they've got to have another splice somewhere So we're going to hook. 
this one. To this one. This is some shoddy electrical work. Alright, we're going to leave that breaker off. Look at this conduit. Look at this. There's another splice somewhere, I guarantee it. That's why they cut that red one short. Line voltage. Turn the breaker back on. We should have 240 now. And we do. We have 244 volts. Which means this condenser should run when I plug this in. There it is. No caps, no screws. Ooh, it sounds like it's bone dry too. That compressor does not sound good. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Sounds like rocks in a can. This system ain't got no gas in it. Yep, negative 12. She's bone dry. Now they got big problems. Not something I really want to get into on a Saturday, to be honest with you. But I will call the homeowner because this is a rental. See what they want to do. See any residual signs out here. I don't see anything.
Yeah, just because I don't have my service truck and I'm in my, or just because I don't have my main truck, I run into a big problem like this. But every time I'm in my regular truck, it would have just been something simple, no problem. But just because I'm in my personal truck that's set up for basic service like what we just did, there's a bigger problem. All right, guys, so this is a good customer of mine. And uh, he called, they called me out and said that they had a bunch of electrical issues on the house and they had them all fixed. But the AC still wasn't working. We found what we found, okay? They redid the disconnect and all that. They wire nutted it. We got that straight. And then we fire up the unit and it's bone dry on Freon. So I don't have my regular truck. I'm in my pickup truck, which is set up for very basic service work. I don't even have a torch on this truck. I'm gonna put one, but right now I don't even have a torch on here. And I'm not getting into this on Saturday. I mean, unless he wants to pay overtime, then the guy should be just about done with my truck. He said it wasn't gonna take him long to, uh, to fix my ladder rack. And, uh, you know, I can come back and get into it, but it probably needs a, uh, probably needs a coil or something, you know, but I got the electrical issue fixed. So now I got to see what they want to do moving forward and I'll let you guys know. All right, so I just got off the phone with the customer. He's giving me approval to come back Monday morning and do a extensive leak search. I'm gonna pressure the system up with nitrogen. Line set runs under the house, goes through the attic. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back Monday and pressure it up and uh, we'll try to get some film on that. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all on the next one.